Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, <laughs> gotten out of the mining tunnels and into the maintenance area where we met this chatty, semi-broken protocol droid who told us, uh... Well, what went on while I was incapacitated, as it were. And now we have a means as to get into the computer. And we have tons of droids <laughs> in this area, which makes sense. It's the maintenance area for the droids. Unfortunately, there's not much else going on there. So, uh, let's... Take that out. Didn't actually work the way I intended, but it's fine. And then do a couple flurries. Hopefully, <laughs> be able to get those out. Yeah, they're just not. They're not getting stunned here. All right. Now you're down, and you're down. Good. Fantastic. Low security door. Security failure. And more combat anyway. Okay. And down. Really should just focus on beating them down. I hear another droid running around. Why, why am I bothering trying to beat <laughs> this damaged door? I shouldn't. I shouldn't be bothering. Oh, it was these droids. That's why I heard a shield. That makes sense. And might as well just... Do a couple more of these. Really? <laughs> All right. Well, wasn't the worst that it could have been, but still, I'm annoyed. <laughs> Number of components and chemicals, parts, and a reflex package. Okay. I, I did pick those up, right? Oh, I didn't. I hit the wrong button. Oh, I'm silly. I am silly, silly, silly. Oh! Whoa. Oh! 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 Realize they're actually labeled a floating mines. Probably shouldn't have done what I did. There we go. And... Really? Alright. Eventually did it. Okay. That is a security door that is locked. Okay. Can't go out there, I guess. At least not yet. Paragus administration level. I can head up there? That's good. Although, it strikes me now, should I? <laughs> I don't think I should. Because I'm not done down here yet. I still need to use that maintenance station computer. So, let's go in here and do... Well, not in here here, but... Actually, 
I was in the right area in the first place. Never mind. He's over here. There we go. Paragus Maintenance Console Emergency Lockdown in Effect. Console commands. Use the sonic imprint sensor. Maintenance control. Voice print ID. R1B5. Voice recognition confirmed. And full system access granted. Open the door to airlock with maintenance officer override. Awesome. Access maintenance logs. The log about the imprint sensor. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. All right. Fair enough. And the Ebonhawk droids. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so there's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Fair enough. So he didn't even know the depths of what was going on by that point. All right. And this one clearly says that he knows now. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi in Medbay. I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. Nope. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy. And that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. Not really. Didn't really get to that point with him. I was just an underling, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> Exchange bounty. Been oh too boy. Busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Corda. Corda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shut down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Corda and his men are going to give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Corda wouldn't... That was cut off rather quickly. But I guess maybe Corda wouldn't. Unless it turns out he did. <gasps> okay. Sonic sensor for the voice print ID. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I saw the voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter. But I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. Gotcha. So he knew something was up. He didn't set up the droids to fix up the Ebon Hawk. But someone near him would have. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. I shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance, and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility, and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Hmm. So he knew something was up. And now he's dead. Well, to be fair, the entire facility, besides me and Atten, and Kreia to an extent, is dead. So, I guess that isn't too arousing suspicion. Sorry for that weird jump cut. I had to clear out my throat pretty bad. Okay, now that I've read all of those emergency subroutines, 
Check for exits from fuel depot. Containment field active. Administration turbo lift active. Emergency turbo lift shut down. Airlock active. Containment field. Breach in fuel lines detected. Access to hangar bay denied. Track the source. There's drifting a blast in one of the main fuel lines. The containment field has been activated to keep the explosion isolated. That would imply that the fuel lines connect directly to the hangar bay. If you could get access to the fuel lines, you could bypass the containment field entirely. That is a good idea. Alright, check the fuel lines. The fuel lines are currently sealed because no ships are docked. They would automatically open if a ship did arrive. Hmm... We'd have to board the docked ship and go through the fuel line to reach the hangar. Mm. Well, that's an option, I guess. Huh. Okay, check the other exits. Uh, turbo lift. Access to fuel depot denied. Access to administration permitted. Turbo lift to the administration level is programmed to automatically open only when entering administration from the fuel depot. The mining tunnels, detonations detected, venting systems activated, access denied. Turbo lift to the mining tunnels has been locked down. That makes sense. I just got out of there. So, not even worth it. Check the airlock. Ah. Um, calm system, run diagnostic on damaged systems. Signal unit destroyed, comm system from fuel to depot inoperative. The comm system circuit has been severed with a laser drill, and there's too much interference in the asteroid rock to allow you to connect via any other level via com, com link. Hmm. Cameras. Fuel line sensors. Fuel line deposits fuel into stocked starships. Since no ships are currently docked at the Paragus facility, it is sealed. There appears to be a damaged T3 unit dumped into the fuel line. It may be your missing T3 unit. There's also some sort of metal case next to the T3 unit, but he can't make it out. It may have been deliberately dumped down there. Interesting. Airlock camera... I don't think any of the rest of them matter too much. Droid maintenance area has been sealed by the emergency lockdown. However, new programming... Oh yeah, we've read this already. Uh, yeah, this level camera... Okay. I think that's everything that I can access. Hmm... No reason to try and beat that door down again. Uh, let's ask Greeting. a couple it is a questions. Pleasure to see you intact, Master. How may I be of assistance? I found a T3 unit in one of the fuel pipes. It looks damaged. Alarmed query. Indeed, Master. How is it possible that a T3 unit got dumped in such a place? Like a piece of unwanted garbage? Thoughtful extrapolation. Perhaps it ran afoul of the other droids in this facility and was attacked. Most distressing. Mm -hmm. It's too bad that there is no way to reach the droid from here, Master. Otherwise you might be able to determine what happened to it. I have some more questions for you. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Um, hmm. Nah, I think we got everything. I think we've got everything we can get out of him. And since the airlock is opened, we'll go this way. Maybe? Inner door. Good. 
In order to exit the airlock, you will need the space suit. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Do I need to go to the administration level before I get out of here? I'm starting to think maybe, but I'm not sure why. Well, can come back this way. Talk to Atna a little bit. Is there anything more Found I can get? Anything? Found a talkative protocol droid down in the fuel depot. Yeah? Did you blow it up? <laughs> no, I thought about it, though. Um, I could say that. <laughs> Why would I do that? Because droids can't be trusted. And you can? Look, I could have let you rot in those mining tunnels, and all I get from you is back talk. You know what? I don't trust you. For all I know, you could have caused all this trouble. In fact, you did just by being a Jedi. So before you start accusing me of anything, Jedi, maybe you better take a look at what you've done. Hmm. The miners may still be alive. They're trapped in the dormitory section. So they are still alive. But the dormitory comm isn't picking up anything. Is there any way to get to them? I need to open an airlock, but it's sealed with a voice print protocol by the maintenance officer. Voice print? Great. That means he'd have to speak the code. He's dead, right? It looks that way. There's ways to beat voice prints, though. If you can get samples of his voice and the right words, you should be able to fake the voice print code. If you know what it is. You know, I overheard the maintenance officer getting chewed out by the security officer. You might want to check the security office on this level and see if there's any voice samples stored in the logs. And maybe there's samples of the code in the maintenance officer's hollow logs, if you can find a way to record them. If I have a sonic sensor and the code, I just need to find the right words to record. That's a start. See if you can find any recordings where the maintenance officer is speaking, and try to piece together the words to unlock the voice print. Hmm. So basically, heading up here at this point just lets you uh, get lay of the land with Atten. Gotcha. Lay of the land with Atten Rand. <laughs> oh, oh! I hate myself. I absolutely hate myself for that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I immediately apologize for my dumb joke. Okay. Now it's time to head out and go around. Oh, geez. See if I can avoid damage. Ha ha, I can. Oh, yeah. Man, I run so fast in this thing. <laughs> That's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Mm -hmm. I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid's surface? That can't be right. Really? Maybe you should look up. Huh? What are you doing out there? <laughs> I'm just taking a relaxing walk. You're crazy. Even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there quick. I'm trying to pick up the pace, believe me. What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragus fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Yeah, I saw a little bit of that. Why are the vents placed so close to the exterior scaffolding? Well, that's just it. They're not supposed to be active when the airlock's open, and not without the safety measures kicking in. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... Now what now? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. I have really? a bad feeling about this. Well, that would allow me to get through the... 
extreme version of getting to the hangar. It would be an option. No, that isn't creepy at all. No, not at all. Oh, goodness. That was creepy. This... is gonna be really slow. Getting into docking position. Hmm. And there's the fuel line. I'm sure that's part of the automated sequences. The fuel line gets thrust into the uh, compartment. Phrasing. Stray. Phrasing. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I would assume if... The ship is docking that they would offer a... Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. They would offer fuel as well. I'm sure most of that is charged to the account of the... Well, whatever. Docks. Okay. Well, hello there. Oh, my good God. That was quick. And done. Let's pull stuff out of there. And that's all that there is. Okay. Boop. Stop it. One of the door. Okay. Well, hi there. Ow. There we go. Screw you. Say, ooh, a corpse. Nice. <laughs> All right, storage logs. Now the fire suppression systems have gone active, and I can't even make it to the dormitory section. I watched the turrets turn their carbonite freeze rays on Maban before he even got halfway across the room. Fortunately, their range doesn't seem to go beyond the room itself, so I was able to remain safe in the corridor. But it didn't have any ranged weapons to take them out from a distance, and I didn't have a stealth field generator to sneak across the room either. I tried unlocking the storage room door to see if there were any cold resistant items or grenades I could use, but the door was sealed from the lockdown. I don't know enough about security systems to open it. I didn't have a sonic charge to blow the door open. Still, as long as the droids don't make it into this section, I should be alright. What about that? What about that? Oh. Ho oh. ho. I'm assuming. There we go. Alright. That's good for now. Try and get into this. 
There we go. Second time around. Did it. Booyah. Got chemicals. Got scope. Not too shabby. Another scope. And insulated gloves. Yeah, I could use the workbench, but in a little bit. Uh, immunity versus cold. It might be useful, given what we're doing at the moment. The reflex package at least gives us some of what we're losing from the survival gloves. Hmm. And let's go with the cardio regulator. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot I had other weapons equipped. I can just take them out from a distance here. Technically. Um... Wasn't that by the door? Like, a couple minutes ago? Okay, I'm confused now. Well, now that's frozen. And might as well just keep doing power blasts. That was a wild miss. How did you even think that that was going to work? Like, for real. Did the turret just get closer? <laughs> it did. Okay. It got closer. To do damage. <laughs> Alright. Well. Really, all it's doing is a minor nuisance. There we go. It was a minor nuisance because there was nothing else I could do anyway. Alright. It wasn't even hurting me all that much. Oh, boy. Alright. Okay. Sonic grenade and components. That's fine. I guess. I guess the gloves that were Helping me be immune to cold by 30% were really what helped me out there. And we make that go off. And we have to wait until that is able to go off. In the meantime, I'll switch back to these because there's no reason to keep wearing them now. Really? Really? There we go. Okay. Vibration cell and sonic discharge. Interesting. Now I'm getting more options to throw in my little vibro blade here. Whoa, hello. There we go. Fire suppression droid. So now we have those droids pulling that sort of stunt on me on top of all of the regular droids. Great! Because combat wasn't already complicated enough. Now I have a droid type that is able to stop my actions and completely knock out my bar of actions. 
enjoy. Shift assignment console or that door. Or further forward. I guess further forward is the best option. Uh, automated fire extinguisher. Well, I'm going to see if I can get that droid to come out of there. No. It's going to stand there instead? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Hi there. Really? Oh, come on. <laughs> no, come on. There we go. Done. I'm gonna wait and heal, maybe. There we go. I'm gonna wait for a few more force points before I go into that combat. That's gonna get hectic real quick. Huh. <sighs> Well, I didn't think heading through this way would lead to quite so many droids. Probably should have expected it, though, considering, you know, everything. Good. Oh, come on. Oh, all right. And a good thing that missed. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, joy. Come on. Come on. All right. No, 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 no. You're not doing that. You're going after this one. No, no, you go after this one, you idiot. Okay. Now you heal. And now you stun. And now you switch weapons, and you just shoot it at your leisure. Okay. And now you're good. Whew. That could have gone worse. I should have used the mining shield. This lock is melted, but you may be able to blast it open with a mine, but it'll destroy some of the contents inside. I don't wanna. Oh. Get rid of you. Or at least attempt it. That should have killed you. I think the fact that I'm not killing them in what hit is surprising. Well, might as well use that level up to heal. <laughs> Skills. Uh, let's up Persuade and Treat Injury. And more security and computer use. Yeah, sure. That'll work. Powers. Hmm. Still can't do healing. It's gonna be a problem if this keeps up this way. Um, most of these are restricted by armor. Grr. That's annoying. Well, might as well just get stunned just so I have the human variant to unlock. There we go. Bye. And one. Whoops, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but it worked. Got loot. And. Hey! One of these. Nice. Alrighty. 
go through all of these. Mess hall log, a breath mask, an antidote kit, and more chemicals. I swear they're never going to or get around to fixing the ventilation systems. And if the food processors back up again, then the next time the fumes start flooding in the mess hall, I'll be dead rather than just nauseous. But keep the breath mask here just in case we have a repeat incident. Well, that explains why that is there. And... Pretty much got everything in this little section. Pull the remains off of this. A military suit, you say? A military suit, you say? That I can't wear because it's medium armor. Damn it. <laughs> Welp. So much for that option. That I thought was a good option until just then. Wow, a lot of credits and a minor log. Got another lecture about contraband today. Security hasn't started doing spot checks of our quarters yet, so my cash in the lower bunk in my room in the eastern dormitory should be safe. You won't even know it's there unless you know to look for it. Quarter came around again asking if I had any special cargo to sell, but I was getting a bad feeling about how he was asking, so I stayed quiet about my stash. I'm going to keep that blaster I smuggled from Telos and a few grenades there, just in case things here get rough. Only benefit to having a room the farthest from the door is that should buy me enough time to dump the contraband if security does a surprise inspection. Fair enough. I mean, douchey, but fair enough. Because you didn't have anyone else in the facility think about getting it to possibly survive this whole endeavor huh quarta minor log this hollow log looks like it needs to be plugged into a hollow reader in order to play back the contents Everyone here was very well kitted out. Turbo lift console. Open turbo lift door. I only have one spike. I don't want to use it here. Okay. Log out. Okay. Well, nice. Security door, my. Oh boy. Didn't think there'd be droids in here. Oh boy. There we go. Pull out your stuff. Ooh. No, it's not a security failure. that everything out of here? I guess everything out of this side. And we got another one here with repair kit. And that's it. Okay. Not all that special, this loot. <laughs> Not even in the slightest. And I can't get into there. There was a computer I passed to get into the dormitories. Shift assignment console. I do have a lot more parts than I do spikes. Reroute the main console system. Hmm. Check the duty shift logs. There appears to be nothing more than long lists of work assignments, with the number of miners available for duty decreasing over the past three days, citing several medical bay logs. Well... Camera control and mess hall. I was just in there. Dormitory West. Oh. That can't be good. Shut down the dormitory ventilation system. I'm going to have to use that spike because, wow. You've shut down the gas in the dormitory section. Good. The east side. Looks like the miners inside the dormitory are either dead or unconscious. But the poison gas looks like it's been shut off. 
Good. Turbo lift to administration level. Where I was already at. Two. Okay. Dormitory comm system. There's no sound. And the lockdown. Door behind you opens. Good. I lost a lot of items in that one. But... Well, so much for that section. We'll go to these ones, though. Well, hi there! Didn't expect you here. Alrighty. Any more? Nah, just outright shut off. Broken log terminal. Well, need to scavenge the components out of it. Because I'll need them. Foot locker, huh? Melee shield. Okay. Let's cycle around here. A lot of components. Well, a lot of credits mainly, but components too. Foot locker. Security failure. Yeah, about that. Hey! Nice. Dock officer corpse. And the dock officer log. Looks like it needs to be plugged into a hollow reader. Okay. Fair enough. Strengthening underlay. Would that be useful? Damaged door. You'll need to blow it open with a mine. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have any mines. Uh, so much for that. Heat shielding, Mark 1. Interesting. And nothing else in here. Alright. Okay, when I walked away from it, it didn't have anything on the display. Now it has something on the display. After a seven... Scavenge? Scavenge. Scavenge the parts out of it. Okay, whatever you say. Weird, but whatever. Ooh, hi there. How you doing? There you go. Down you go. Perfect. This one works. That's good. Might as well just run around here to get everything I can. Ow. And nothing in here. Medical officer. Oh, the medical officer managed to make it down here. Interesting. That's good. Able to look at her last logs, I guess. That's good. Wait. It was, it was the he for the medical officer, wasn't it? I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I forget who was what. Credits... All right. Nothing else going on here. Wait, what? Oh, the administration officer log. Okay, good. I think we got all of the logs. And we're in front of the log terminal. But we're also at the end of the episode time. So I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Ha <laughs> ha, cliffhanger once again. So thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I do this all the time, but really... Really, you shouldn't expect anything less. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so you can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and just running around <laughs> trying to make it through this facility without dying. And... Now we've made it into the dormitory level and possibly we'll find out how all of the miners died or what necessarily went on to lead to their deaths. I have a few theories 
and we'll see how they play out. This is also like a two-decade-old game, so, it, you know, most of those theories are already known. Anyway, it's been... <laughs> This has been us trying to survive for you.